All right, hey guys, here we are. Hole number five. Let's see what they set up for this one. This is always a very interesting hole to see during their setups. Ooh, wow, look at that. So they want to make sure that you guys can't go for it. So another thing you can still do is maybe a power four ball will make things just a little bit easier. Let's see if I can get off. Yeah, we're just gonna go. We're gonna try to go apocalypse. Thinking somewhere around full here with my spin. Now what this power four option will do is pretty much for the second shot. So we wanna to try to hold this fairway so you can see here it is checking. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna kind of give me the more range here to still go for this thorn shot because you're gonna be pushing the max line otherwise. And you'll see how straight the wind is. Um, you know, almost if you can cheat this left side a little bit and even get it to straighten out a little bit more, it is going to give you kind of a more makeable shot here. Now, what ends up happening here is tons of wind wind effects on this approach um, because the wind's so strong. It's very tough to play this enough rings, so... That looks like another pretty good shot there. You can see opponent has Kingmaker. You'll see what I just have is just a little bit more range. So when I set up for this shot here, you'll see that mine, you know, I can pull all the way back here. It's just going to make things a little bit easier. Now, the one thing that I don't like is my ball type. So you can see I don't quite have the side spin and what I'd typically like to do is play about half a ring to the left just to be sure that we kind of bend it around the stick. Now what I would typically do, I'm thinking somewhere in the neighborhood of six-ish rings which is close to 1.5, maybe even go just a little bit more. So you'll see it's about six and a half rings here, perfect ball, hopefully the wind effect pushes to the left enough looks like it does so it just is enough and you can see that was almost six and a half rings there um, very good chance to be able to uh, get that one and you'll see opponent here just has to play it just a little bit tighter and has to almost have a perfect drive may even be going for the dunk so very tough dunk I'm not sure he's going to be able to to get this dunk to drop. I don't I don't think he has the rings to, to play enough. So I'm assuming that this would be close to seven. What did he just go? Four? That's, that's not near enough. How many did he go there? So you'll see. It's another ring or two short. But, um, you know, that is something that I have the opportunity to go for as well, is I can, you know, especially with that power four there, um, definitely have enough range to be able to get that dunk. It's, it's something that I typically don't do on straight winds. So when it's like a straight into the wind, which means you don't have to play quite as much wind effect, the ball won't kick as far right and left. So... The fact that you have pretty good control, sometimes I'll just go for the uh, straight backspin shot. Um, if it was a side wind, I'd probably go for that dunk. So that's kind of, you know, my thought process on which shot is more makeable. However, you know, especially with the way tournament format is, you know, you can get anything dialed in. All you need to do is just have enough attempts and, you know, devise a way to do the same, you know, get to the same distance numbers from the hole each and every time. So 
Good luck there, guys, and uh, catch you guys on the next one.